Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module five, lesson 11. And in this lesson, students are gonna be now telling time, only now they're gonna be going to the half hour. So we're gonna be doing things like 1.30 and 2.30. And again, we're gonna be using that GeoGebra applet that I created to kind of make math and make it come to life. Although if you have your own uh, clock app, go ahead and use it. You don't need to use mine. Um, and as we're talking about the half hour, make sure you're bringing back that language that we learned earlier about halves and quarters. So let's get started. All right, so we've got our clock here. We've got our nice little clock app and it kind of disappeared there for a second. All right, and so, and again, you know, you got your clock and I'm gonna set it all the way back to 12. So we've got 12 o'clock and of course, as the clock advances, we've learned that on the hour, we know that the hour hand is going to be pointing, I mean the minute hand is always going to be pointing at that 12, and then the hour hand, in this case it's a red one, is going to be pointing towards the, the hour. And so of course you could see that it's currently saying 1 o'clock. So the idea would be uh, to ask our students, well, if we only went halfway around the circle, where would that minute hand be pointing? So they would say, oh, well, it would be pointing down at the six. Well, if the minute hand only went halfway around the clock, what would the hour hand do? Well, the hour hand is only going to travel halfway between the hours. So in this case, if the minute hand traveled halfway where would the hour hand go? So if the minute hand only traveled halfway around the clock, take a look where that hour hand is. It's pointing halfway between the one and the two. So the hour is past the one, but it hasn't reached the two. So that's why we say it is 1.30, or we say it's half past one. All right, and so that's the idea. So we can hide that clock for a second here and I'm going to hide the digital clock and let's make it oh let's go right here so there we go so what time is this so we're gonna say well the hour hand is past the four but not to the five so it's past the four and we see that the minute hand is halfway around the clock so it's half past four or we are gonna say Another way to say it is, we would say it is 4.30. And that's the idea. So parents and teachers, let your students play with this or some other clock kind of a thing. Another idea you could do is hide the actual clock. You can set the time for, in this case, 7.30, and use the prediction and have your students predict where would the minute and the hour hands go. So I don't know, let's put it, the minute hand would be down here somewhere, and then the hour hand would, now classic thing, the hour hand would be pointing at the seven, right? But then when we show the actual clock, we see that, oh, no, that, that hour hand has to go halfway between the seven and the eight, all right? And that's the idea for this, this slide. So here we want our students to circle the clock that correctly says half past two. So we see that the minute hand is halfway around the clock on these two, but it's not this one because you could see, uh, let's see, this hour, the minute hand is at 12. It's not halfway around. So that's why we're going to cross that one off. And which one of these clocks shows us half past two? And if we want, we could zoom in a little bit. And we can see that, well, this one is half past one because it's past the one but not quite at the two. This is past the two and not quite to the three. So this is the one that is half past two. 
So we can continue, we can always practice again. So like here, let's do question three. We want exactly six o'clock. You'll notice it says exactly six o'clock. So we have to remember the old stuff too. And we see that it is clock A. So here the idea is we're just gonna be, we've removed some scaffolding. Now the students are supposed to look at the clock and tell time. So Lee wakes up at what time? Well, we see that the minute hand is down at the six. So that's half past, right? And that's at the 30. We see that the hour hand is a little bit past the six, but not quite to the seven. So we know that it is 6.30. And then he takes the bus at, so now we got to look, what time does he take the bus at? Well, we see that the minute hand is halfway around, so we know that the clock is going to say something 30, as in half past. But now we have to look at the hour. Well, it's past the seven, but not quite to the eight. So we know that it is 7.30. And that's the idea. It's just look at each clock, use your logic to figure out what time it is. And that wraps up first grade module five, lesson 11. We're using those halves, right? A, re a recurrence of the halves to tell time to the nearest half hour. Hey, by the way, subscribe to my channel, please.